Hello, it's Polish Paul VR and it's time to review David Attenborough Great Barrier Reef Dive VR. What a mouthful. So this is coming from Alchemy VR. They last year in April they released David Attenborough First Life, Atomic Ghost Fleet and Coco's Shark Island a free VR experiences which sadly fell short on the all the departments of virtual reality -ness. They wasn't that great, but of course with time the company might improved. Who knows? Let's talk about it. But first of all, before I start, shout out for putting blinders on 360 video. That's first time I saw blinders in the video. They not lasting long, but they here. I just want to just mention it. Now this experience, sadly, it's a collection of 360 videos, bit of virtual reality video, and also a lot of 2D videos. It's based on David Attersbrough Great Barrier Reef series, which aired for free on tele, and it was very nice experience probably better than this one. Sadly, VR sections are a bit blurry and also you can see like lines of the camera when the 360 meets and you, you see fish in one place and then it's like sadly disappears to appear in another place. 360 sections, as it usually is in 360, they flat and also they vary off scale. So get ready to see some giant people and some giant fishes and 2D sections are of course 2D. Everything what you see here you probably saw on tele for free when it's aired, but it's still a good experience. Experience. And the only good thing about this experience is David Attenborough himself, because he's an awesome narrator. You could give this dude a photo of big, fat, steamy, smelly turd and he would narrate it beautifully and you still would enjoy it. But sadly this experience falls short on so many departments that it's not just immersive at all. Too much 2D, too much of scale 360 and VR is just too shaky and too, too just wrong. It just don't feel right. And of course narration is very nice. The place when they dive in is nice as well. But I must say I watched other day on YouTube VR video for free. People been diving in Antarctica. It was very clear image and it was free and it was better than this. Of course it didn't have narration but even if you take narration in counter for the price and for what it is it's sadly not immersive. It's very short and for me it's a pass and that's it bye